The most important concept in electricity is how voltage, current, and resistance are related to each other. In this circuit drawing, the power source is 5 volts. The current is 1 half ampere and the resistance in the circuit is 10 ohms. When the power source is increased to 10 volts, notice that the current has increased to 1 ampere. With the resistance remaining constant in a circuit, if the voltage were doubled from 5 volts to 10 volts, the current would be doubled from 1 half to 1 ampere. Conversely, if the voltage were decreased, the current would be decreased in proportion. It's easy enough to vary the voltage in a circuit by simply increasing or decreasing the voltage supply. A variable voltage source can be represented schematically by drawing a diagonal arrow through the battery symbol. This is the schematic for the circuit to observe how voltage changes affect the current. With the source at approximately 5 volts, the ammeter indicates 0.5 amperes and the voltmeter reads 5 volts. To keep an accurate account of our meter readings, all data should be recorded in table form. The voltage is 5 volts, the current is 0.5 amperes and the resistor was 10 ohms. Now, let's vary the voltage source from 5 to 10 volts. Open the switch to de-energize the circuit increase the power supply to 10 volts. Close the switch and read the values of current and voltage. The current is 1.0 amperes and the voltage is 10 volts. Record the data in the table. Open the circuit switch and increase the power supply to 15 volts. Close the switch and read the values of current and voltage on the meters. The current is 1.5 amperes and the voltage is 15 volts. So, analyzing the readings taken and taking into account the tolerance of the meters, the measured values prove that when the voltage goes up, the current goes up. When the voltage goes down, the current also goes down. Current is directly proportional to voltage. This is the mathematical symbol that means proportional. In symbols, current, I, is proportional to voltage, E. Now let's take a look at what happens when we vary the resistance in a circuit. In the previous circuit, we had a 10 ohm resistor across a 5 volt power supply, which resulted in a half an amp of current flow. Open the switch and add a second 10 ohm resistor in parallel to the first one. The total resistance will decrease to approximately 5 ohms. Close the switch and measure the current. Record the data in Table 2. Open the switch and add another 10 ohm resistor in parallel with the first two and measure the resistance. The resistance has gone from 5 ohms to approximately 3.33 ohms. Close the switch and measure the current and voltage. The current measures 1.5 amperes and the voltage is 5 volts. Record the data in Table 2. Analyzing the results, we see that when resistance increases, current flow decreases. Conversely, when resistance decreases, current flow increases. This relationship is called an inverse proportion. The current is proportional to the inverse of the resistance. In symbols, the current, I, is proportional to 1 divided by resistance, R. These relationships of voltage, resistance, and current were first formulated by George Simon Ohm. The current flowing in an electrical circuit is directly proportional to the voltage. I is proportional to E, but current is also inversely proportional to the resistance. I is proportional to the inverse of the resistance. I is proportional to 1 divided by R. Combining these two equations gives you Ohm's law. The current, I, is equal to the voltage, E, divided by the resistance, R. Ohm's law is one of the most important laws of electricity. Many other electrical laws can be traced to this basic relationship and are used to simplify some very complex circuits.